This is a response to a uh, Attorney General article. Um, be it, uh, I haven't been served. I've been missing all kinds of mail and this and this. And you know, it's a corporate tactic takedown, tactical takedown by a company called Car um, Holdings out of Indianapolis, Indiana. So um, you can read about the founder and you know the founder's reputation will tell you a lot. You know, federal prison time and stuff. So I'll tell you how he pays off all kinds of people, judges, this, this, this. And I'm not going to get too deep into this because it's a small, small fraction of what I've got and what I do have will probably rock the Constitution and the system itself. And believe me, my constitutional rights are the only rights that I will never agree to lose. Okay? So don't take them from me because I won't give them away. And don't try to, you know, Make me look like a crazy, or I'm wrong, this, this, and this, but good shot at it. Really good shot at it. I li love the newspaper article. Don't know who wrote it, but don't worry. We've got, uh, we call him Santa Claus right now, but he's already came to town. He's already serving. He's giving everybody their present between now and Christmas, but definitely by the end of the year, he's already got everybody's Christmas, but, you know, as they say, he's got a list and he's checking it twice, so, <laughs> um, you know, Oh, just to mention, not to mention, I got put in jail on my birthday, or well, after my birthday when I went to a court appearance, but they put me a $25,000 warrant for a false, something I did not do. They put $25,000 bond on for a misdemeanor, um, intimidation or whatever, which is, should be like 200 bucks. <laughs> but they held me for illegally for a long time, and then Kosciuszko's prosecutor wouldn't even consider dropping it when I asked for a little bit of a bail reduction. And it's surety only, so it will let, surely cost me $2,500 minimum. So this is a small review of what is going to be a federal case soon. Okay. And, uh, you know, any police officers or anything do anything to take me down or shoot me or anything, at least I have something so you guys know before this becomes big, big, big. This is the reason why this amazing account, 405 positive, well, actually, we have quite a bit more than that, but whatever. In reality, they can say whatever they want about me, all the bad stuff that there is about me. Any bad complaints? The guy happens to be from Indianapolis, and the boat was actually bought from Odessa, and they told me it was a Marine-certified boat. So it to him, and they said the time had lapsed, and I said, well, you guys don't want to back it up. Now, they've just paid to bash me, trash me, and everything. This is car holdings. And uh, it's the biggest thing that I was almost on the edge of losing it. <laughs> but I couldn't figure out because I'm not dumb. In fact, I've actually had a debit card since I was 13. So, whatever. Okay, well, let's look at this. And then let's look at the hassle. Let's look at the day, my hassle. And you're going to hear all this in about a second. Let's see. Great buying experience. Excellent transaction. And one of the best boats I've ever seen. Blah, 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 Sean is very reliable. Thanks. Good. Well, it'll go on and on forever, so I'm not going to get into that. But we're going to get into the response of the Attorney General. And also the proof that I have of a corporate fraud paid to just take me down and out of business. It's paid to take me down and out of business. Paid judges, state cops, you know, local law enforcement, everybody. And to violate my rights and hold me for $25,000 bond, which is a violation of the Eighth Amendment. Okay, and I'm not going to stop until this gets big. But the whole thing is, is this is just a small piece of the truth. This is a phone call for my customers. Ooh, oopsie daisy. And let's just try that one more time. Sorry, guys, I'm not going to end this video because I don't have time to. I got too much better stuff to do. And I'm, you know, I'm a little bit smarter than your average cat, guys. So I don't mean it in the wrong way. But here, let's just let it listen. Same play. I hope this is the same one. This must be a, not, not nearly as good of a. Um, Hey, can I help you? Uh, yes, Christine. My name is Sean Dodd. I'm with Dream Toy Store. I had some titles for some vehicles that were recently received, and I give them to the customer. But in the meantime of the whole situation, there was a little bit of a laugh because we didn't know where the titles were. Um, you guys had them for almost a year. I need some sort of something in writing. A, B, or because my lawyer more or less was like, think it's trying to get this all resolved, you know, calmly because everybody's nobody's getting out, screwed out of anything. More.
more or less, you just need to prove that the titles weren't held up because of a lien or that they were money being, because there wasn't. They were paid for in full. The boats were sold, and it's basically a clerical paperwork error. But I need something. I mean, my lawyer more or less told me, because you guys sent them to me. I can give you my account number. I bought stuff there for a while. He said, well, we've got multiple ways to go about it, but the best way is to make sure that everybody's gotten their stuff via certified mail, which I did. And uh, I just needed something stating that those somehow, for, re for some reason, had been left at your auction. And between the two of us, it had really just, uh, I didn't even know where they were at. I mean, there's no, there's no lien on them or anything. But I just need something of that because you guys did send them to me, and I think I got them sometime in October. And I... This company is actually a, now on hold, a complete fraud in their, their founder and all these little, what I will call the Indianapolis crew of crooks, which basically means AFC, Automotive Finance, and Dealer Services Corporation, which are both started by the same guy, and ICE Auctions, which is who they hold now. And the thing is, Indiana judges are even paid off. They're stealing cars off dealers' lots, you know, and... There's class action lawsuits on these companies, and it literally says, Indiana judges must be stupid. No, Indiana judges aren't stupid. They're paid off. I bet if a couple million just pay off in a bank account by a crooked somebody or other, we'll see. And I'm, just doing, I'm only doing this because they're on hold right now. All right? Integrity is something, you know, that you can't change. But this is, since I went on my own, you know, I didn't get my license until February, or March, actually, of 2009, so I can't really... But the whole thing is, is of on my own, for the first time, I followed my dream all the way there. And I've been told through the grapevine, and I'm not going to say get too far ahead unless they start playing too hard, that we're here to fuck up your dream, and you can't stop. But let's look at some of these transactions. What's this say? In Abu Dhabi, $30,000 plus export deal. Now, this is also mainly a... Uh, Allen County Sheriff's Department jealousy harassment because they stole my Hummer. Well, hold yeah. on, pull on. He's gonna have to get with the GM. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I'm trying to make it so that this can be settled calmly because I had gotten a letter from the Attorney General originally, and I, when we started looking at, it, I was like, these people haven't been mailed because the person that was doing my title work was like, well, yeah, I told you that, and I was busy moving stuff. <laughs> And I was like, what do you mean you just told me that and forgot to tell me? And because I would have already been on your guys' ass, like, where the hell did, did I ever get the titles? And I came and looked and it said it, did, it didn't ever get the titles. And then you sent them and they came back. Uh, could you get a copy of it that, that, that did that? Because I, that's what I'm, actually I've got a whole bunch of mail issues that are just like that. If I could get some proof of that, that actually helps me for the, the whole issue of like, because I haven't been getting any mail and just been getting papers sent somewhere and I don't know where the heck they go. And then they're just saying, oh yeah, you did this. And I'm like, wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> what are you talking about? But the whole thing is, is I've got a lawyer taking care of all of it and the best thing is we don't want any litigation. We just want to get everything squared and fixed right and get a solid mailing address for anything for me to perform business as a regular person. Is that what is your phone number? Uh, okay, it's 574-343-6883. Uh, Sean, S E A N, last name Dada, D A D A. And any, anything that you guys have by that, because the thing is, there was no fraud or anything weird intended. I mean, we sold them regular and we thought we had the titles because we did pay for them. It's more or less just a clerical error. Wow, um, 10 years. Okay. Right. Can I give you my uh, corporation. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're going to, uh, either way, they're going to give me something of that sort because otherwise my lawyer's going to file it on you guys, and I don't want to do that. I want to have, I've had a good relationship with you guys. I have no reason to have a bad relationship. I just need to make sure, sure that it's proved that that's the case and that it's all just a clerical thing. I think if everybody knows that that's all it is, then no one's going to say, hey, he was trying to pull something scandalous. <laughs> so, I do. Okay. All right, I'll okay. just call you. All right, thank you so much. All right, bye. -bye. Thanks, bye. Oh, we'll see here. Here's a couple of neutral feedbacks. Obviously, you see when this comes on, and you'll hear some more about it. But see these. Um, obviously, I've held on for two years with my own assets and funds. But see, there's responds after a month. Well, this is all because of a building inspection that uh, didn't get passed until after uh, they basically wouldn't renew my light, or basically it didn't get passed for so long that the 
the renewal on my license that I was waiting for from the attorney or from the uh, Secretary of State. I kept calling. I was like, you know, I've gotten everything into you guys. I even have a proof of a dealer bond that was renewed. So if they want to say, oh, you just he just happened to forget. The guy's so dumb. Come on now. Who are you trying to fool? Um, he's just fucking, for, excuse my language, uh, he forgot to uh, send us $20 for the renewal of his watercraft license because $20 is so much money, even though he has credit vouchers in sack. So obviously, falsifying, making things, fraud has even gotten into the Secretary of State's office. Okay? Now, I sent a letter to the Attorney General, and I can't always say that this did get received, so I can't make any accusations towards them, but I sure as heck hope it didn't, because, and hopefully it's not in there, but about uh, my home at Parker's garage. So, it's funny the Attorney General is out here making sure that I'm in the newspaper. I mean, all these places are out of Indianapolis, the same place that uh, this auction, uh, the founders, or the, the home base is based out of. Okay, now hold on one second, I'm going to go ahead and sit... I waited a while, and now my blood's boiling. This is a, uh, about four days later or something. I don't know, two, three. I don't remember exact dates, um, obviously, and I'm not trying to do it. It's just that there's so much, and I need to get something out there. Here's me calling back again. Good morning, this is SAD. Uh, yes, I need to speak with someone in titles. Yeah, Barb, this is Sean with Dream Toy Store. I've called several times. You guys have Let's caused my title design. to be held for over a year. Things with the death of Cincinnati that are actually, you guys are getting it served in federal court for a lawsuit by me. And I bought more than $10 million worth of stuff from you as Sean Donna signature wise. And you guys know my title. No one's called me back. I've got records. I've recorded five phone calls of me trying to get someone to sit back and, oh, okay, sorry, it's our fault. Well, you know what? That's fine. I guess that's how it's got to be because I'm about frustrated with it. I've got letters, I've got things written in the newspaper about me that, oh, I'm, I'm defrauding people. No, actually, you guys have the titles for every single one of the vehicles. And the Secretary of State's bashed my reputation. I've been selling boats for 10 years, number one boat seller, with over $20 million in sales verified by eBay. And they've locked my account, too, because of you guys holding my titles illegally. Okay, so the facts are out now. If no one's going to step up and at least try to help me from you guys, that's fine. Because now you guys have just caused nothing but anger in my heart for you because no one can even return my phone calls. I've recorded me calling several times, calling all over. Can someone call me back? Can someone tell me why I haven't got United States sales. Why no one's stepping up to the plate for the fact that you guys didn't give me my title. I do have facts that you guys wouldn't release the title for some bullshit reason. Who knows what? I don't even care. I've got three lawyers ready to fucking... Like that. Look at this. What's this? Your global, you've got 676 transactions. Just the United States sale is this one. This is the United States sale is 8.4 million. So let's add those together. Must be 50 bucks. This guy can't come with 20 bucks. He doesn't know me. He's a liar. If he wants to get on an oath and say he doesn't know me, I met him. Him and Kathy used to talk to me all the time when I used to go there. Don't lie out. But if he wants to lie under oath, that's all right. Go ahead. Put him under oath. That's what it is. That's how Odessa works. That's how car holdings works. That's how the Hockett family works. That's how dealer services centers work. And they all paid off Indiana judges so they can do whatever they want. Look up the class action lawsuits. But this one's a federal lawsuit, and I ain't backing down, and I'm sending this to Obama. So... What I'm going to do right about now is try to see if I can get the whole next conversation in here. And if I can't get the whole thing in there, I will get enough. Okay, so I call right back. Oh, wait, no, actually, let me go ahead and call back when I calm down, like they said. Let's see what they tell me again. Because, like I said, I've been trying. I pretty much just thought, oh, gosh, the world's against me. My life's over. I've been trying. Building inspectors on an inspector thing. Everything's strategic.
make America. And you guys saying thank you for being our top star. With, here's an award for it, whatever. Well, simply all I'm saying is, I have many messages. You guys had my titles until October of this year for votes I bought last year. Well, you know, I didn't even realize that you had them still because I had left seven to ten messages. I had somebody else who thought before that they I had already been sent. Well, you. you guys did not send them. You don't, don't have any proof really they were returned. In fact, I know you didn't send them because I always get them FedEx to my front doorstep. Um, and, uh, you know, I've got nothing but a run around. Well, now the article in the newspaper of Fort Wayne saying that I have four, four people votes, whatever Secretary of State thing. And uh, you guys had all four titles in your hands, not me. So now my reputation was bad. My eBay account has been locked up. A 10-year number one boat seller, almost $20 million in sales in reality. And it's all proven fact. And you guys can see it in your own book when you look at Sean Data as a buying agent. And you guys don't even take the time to share my calls. That's good. That's, that's what I'm going to get. That's fine. I guess I'll see you guys in federal court. Thank you. I'm not trying to be a dick. I've been nice. I, I never had a problem with the death. I don't know why they treat me like that. And I don't know why I can't get a simple call back. The phone number is 574-343-6883. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. Okay, I'm going to log into my Facebook. And I'll probably post this on Facebook because I don't think this is too, too much. But this is definitely a good defense of me. But let's just show to my albums if I can. Hold on. I hate Facebook and their new setup just to let them know if they read it, like their new uh, setup sucks. Oh, wait. Well, let's see our albums. Dream Toy Store. Well, here's what Dream Toy Store. Well, let's see. You know, I started right next to the Allen County Sheriff's Department, got my license. Uh, February of 2009, or no, I, maybe March. Pretty much the same time, uh, one of the sweetest crooked organizations in the world has been approved by Ken Freeze. And I'm not going to say, but it's called FBI Safe Streets. And what they basically do at the end of the day is they're trying to say I'm a criminal organization, a criminal empire. And I don't know... If, I can't blame the sheriff's department or anything completely because I don't know who is in and who is out, but I know that not. There's no possible way the whole judicial system is this screwed up. It's just some people got offered these nice, cool things, nice cars, you know. But it uh, says basically if they didn't see a change somewhere in this article, you can go ahead and look at it. Um, and what really is blowing this is because they popped all this stuff on them because they knew I was mailing them some Christmas presents around here. Uh, but Safe Streets Task Force, whatever. Uh, they more or less, and I'm going to hold on and hopefully I can get all this in one one thing. But here we go. We'll, we'll just say, in the meantime, while I'm looking. How did I put that part? Um, and even I believe, I, I think, so I can't blame the whole sheriff's department because I can't blame, blame them for sure. But, uh, oh yeah, here we go. It says... And the FBI fits the entire bill. We pay the officers only overtime. We get them leased vehicles, office space, computer systems, and everything they need. Oh, so basically the Safe Streets Task Force combines. What do we do? We deputize Allen County Sheriff's Department, Police Department. No wonder since I've never been in trouble my whole life um, until my dealership opens. And this starts when my dealership opens. It's not coincidental. This is corporate takedown, okay? Corporate takedown by crooked... AFC, or as we'll call it, car, car holdings, and they are a $2.65 billion company. And they can say whatever they want then, because it all goes together, including them screwing me out of my marina building. Okay, well, you know, my life's been horrible since then. And if this doesn't fit all in one video, um, you know, I'll go ahead and uh, make another one and another one and another one. But I'm, I'm going to only release what's... These are just some pictures of all the cool things. Let's just get out that I've sold. In fact, I think before I have wrote on there, you know, I, yeah, everyone likes to talk crap. Oh, here's the pictures of my marina that I just spent so much money improving because the building inspector, oh, Lake George Marina, doop, doop, doop. But yeah, this guy's a criminal. How about we talk about how I just got robbed out of my Lake George Marina by the same judge who tried to deem me mentally insane and put me in a mental institution for no reason except that I needed, to, I was working on my building and I wanted people to go home that were my employees. Um, 
you know, whatever. So we did an interior remodel. We didn't do anything but take down some crappy wall and clean up a broken ceiling and then end up spending $200,000 fixing it. So this is coming. This is going to be some part of it. This is one of my friends. But, okay, we'll see what it looks like. That's one, one part of an album. Hold on, let's see if I can get to the other album really quick while I um, see if I can't get Mike Long's callback on here also. And then, and it's actually funny because only because of this Fabini case and me finding this did I figure it out because I thought the world was against me. I was about to jump off a bridge almost. Not literally, but uh, at that moment, I don't know. We're not going to get too far into this. Let's see. And like I said, Santa Claus is coming to town. Thanks for the birthday present, the uh, violation of my Eighth, eighth Amendment. Uh, hopefully Santa Claus has been getting something. I started shopping for your guys' Christmas present around last year, right around when uh, you guys illegally towed my Hummer and then made a bunch of false crap about me and said you weren't going to give them back until I admitted to a bunch of crimes when I wasn't driving. Well, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Parker's, I believe, has already gotten their Christmas present. There's so many Christmas presents coming, it's crazy. Cause I gave, Santa Claus has all of them, but he's checking the list twice. Sean. Hey, Sean, it's Mike at Odessa. Yes, I've been trying to contact and get a hold of someone, actually many times now, and um, I've had some issues with some titles that were at your guys' place, and I had, they had FedEx them to me in October, because I said, I'm getting letters from the Secretary of State now, where are these titles, and then all of a sudden, now they wanted to send them to me real fast. The problem is, is I, there's no reason you guys held them for that long. And they don't have, they can play games with me. I've got witnesses that work for me. They kept saying, oh yeah, blah, blah, we need this and we need that from you. Well, you don't hold my titles that I paid for my vehicle cash, lean free, for a year and some months, and then not help me at least resolve the situation with the Secretary of State. That's ridiculous. That's all I've asked. I haven't asked to do anything. I've, I've been doing business with you guys for, I don't know, God knows how long I've got stuff that says from at least 2002 and before. So, um, I don't know what what the deal is, but if they can't help me resolve simple This issues, is what the building kind of looked like. After I spent like, pretty much 200 and some thousand bucks. Is a corporate had, but takedown. Go ahead and keep I doing no stuff, and we'll never let them pass a building inspection. You guys never sent them to me. They didn't get returned to you guys, and if so, then send me the proof, because I know how it's FedEx Send works. me the proof. Um, and I've never had a problem getting titles before. And then, for some reason, I was unable to log into your guys' website since November. <laughs> you guys made it so I couldn't log in to your website. The next month, exactly, so I couldn't even see any of my history. Here's my Hummer Parker and soul. of 5 of 2011, you made it so I could no longer log into Odessa for no reason. Somebody there... Was there a, was there a, uh, a, a license that expired or something? And, and uh, yeah, 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 there was a license that did expire, and the whole thing is I sent in a proof, I said proof that I mailed everything in for $20. $20, I have a $500 credit almost with them. They a credit vouchers because I had sent too much in when I originally got my thing. For some reason, they, they were, I kept calling down to it's an Indiana mix-up, which I was dealing with. But in the meantime, what you guys did, you made it so I couldn't even look, view my own purchase history, any of my stuff. And then you just sit there and hold my titles illegally. Well, irregardless, you can't do that. I've talked to a lawyer about it. And then the whole thing is, if you guys are not going to step up and defend me and let my reputation get bashed, it's fine. I've got letters from eBay saying he's had a 10-year perfect reputation until just now. With these titles, they blocked my account. eBay has blocked my account. They said, we will release it once it's all resolved. And I, now I'm trying to get into resolving a nice And here's manner. a nice Parker's thing, so I'm going to discuss that just so you guys can I see try, like, how nice and decked out me my Hummer that's worth at least $150,000 in my, in my, in my eyes. And both prices to me. I'm just saying... What would you need from us? I don't know the history here. Yeah, no, I mean, you, might, you can look up my history of me as a buyer, because I, I have at least a couple hundred invoices from a dentist in Cincinnati, and I, I love you guys. I never had a problem with anybody. I know people. Oh, I, I, know, I did love you guys. I really know what, what the whole, I understand that the license expires. I said it was coming in the mail. I, I sent them the proof that I renewed it. And she was like, this isn't actual... This sold for $1 at a private that auction that the, held by Parker's. We'll get to that later. But hey, check this one fancy out. They turned me off from bidding. But then, just to make it worse, they locked it. So I couldn't even log into view my purchase histories or anything. Well, and, I think that, and I think that was probably a result of the license being expired. And, and well, that's why I can still go to Mannheim. I can still go to Mannheim to this He's day. lying. Complete but lies. All lies. I view everything else about the right here. My company. It just says I can't I think I video until, I log, until I update the license. Come on, I, I do internet coding for a living. I know how your system works. You a liar. Liar. Bots take down my website. Liar. Organized documentation systems. I use all neat receipts. I'm a digital boy. I've been doing stuff online my whole life, but everything's in order. Every purchase.
Marines. Outside my Marina. As we would buy them, they'd automatically go in and eat receipts. So the whole thing is, I need something for, like a letter for, okay, more or less the Secretary of State had sent me a, some letter, and I, and I pretty much tried to resolve it fast, fast, but in the meantime, I had some other issues that I was, you know, There's unable, to, they couldn't get a hold of me. Partners before, first, so coming for you too, baby. Now. If but you have any issues with partners first, come on, uh, uh, go ahead and general, send them to me because we're sorry, sorry, filing a big lawsuit state. on them guys. Uh, Attorney General, but more or less, there's an article printed in the newspaper that says, you know, four customers have both their titles, but all four of those are actually both that you guys had the titles for that they claimed. And they, I just, these were all just recently sold because more or less, it's irregular. Yeah, I just wrote I this, anyways. I, I, Saying no lies, see more. Left a message two different times before. They're like, someone get back with you. But they sent me the, the thing is you guys sent me a ten dollar invoice for two things for a year. And the only reason I didn't pay ten dollars, not because I didn't want to pay ten dollars, I kept telling you guys, send my titles, I'll give you ten bucks right now. And more or less I don't know if someone had a hard on or this, this, this for me, but I haven't burned you guys for a dollar in history. I have no no issues on auction access. I've looked at auction access. It has to do and you guys KO knocked me out of my Knocked me out of the site, literally. Okay, my, my license wasn't expired for months. It was expired just, it was the, the renewal, the renewal was just up on it for four, one. How much do you think one of these Pirelli Scorpion tires costs on eBay, lowest day of your life? $1,300. I can imagine Parker's illegally stole all my personal property. Oh, go ahead, Parker's. Keep making lies. I've been videotaping and surveilling you guys the whole time. I ain't stupid. Come on now. I can pay people, too, to play games. Same with you out on Kai Sheriff's Department. It's called counter surveillance. Counter surveillance is a bitch. Don't fuck with the genius. Hey, if you guys want to learn a little bit about car auction, go ahead and find this yeah, this say, article. Car auction service, IPO, a criminal history, or a money tree for three? No, give me their auction. Oh, yeah, I think. Ha, ha, ha. Do your own research yeah, newspapers well, and whatnot on this guy. Well, I called and tried to get it to release so I could get my, so I could get condition reports. I was literally, because I was, I was like, you blocked me out of the fact that me printing condition reports. Yes. Like, I was like, this is ridiculous because this is how I do business. And the lady, I don't These know guys own in Indianapolis. They own judges, lawyers, everybody. I was like, wow. They own all Not kinds of crap. In fact, they bought my marina. It will be coming in the mail any day now. Any day now, start being any day of me just keeping like, where the heck is that dang license? Well, in the re reality, Mannheim still let me bid. On it. So I just started buying from them, more or less, because I was like, it's fine, I can hold on for a little bit and figure out until I get it. Well, they never sent me a renewal. When I called, when I called down there, they said, some lady said, it's back to well, saying they're paying $44 million to an executive just to get him to leave. Credit. So, let's see what they're really worth. But how much is my dream worth than bashing my name? $2.65 billion dollar company. Well, whatever your company is worth, you put me out of business, I'll just say my, my company's got to be worth at least that, plus emotional and mental distress. And plus, most people would never figure this out. Too bad that I'm too smart for y'all. So, coming, baby, coming. I'm not trying to escalate this, but it's somebody else that's already escalating it on me. But for oh, here. Me out. There's their website, Car. You guys know if you're in the car business. You guys already know. And, uh, yeah, Mr. Platt, kiss. we'll deal with you separately. My lawyer loves your lawyer. Uh, my lawyer's um, name. I was used not to leave on this uh, thing, but uh, he said he loves your lawyer so much that he's going to sue the dick out of you. So just quit talking bad about me is all i got to say. Quit bad-mouthing me. And I'm coming. I'm, I'm coming, and I ain't like, stopping. I was confident my life was coming in the mail from the Secretary of State. In reality, this is uh, something I don't even know who has control of this, but 
that forgot to pay 20 okay, bucks. Okay, revenue is your choice where there's not. I was like, do you want to cry? I forgot to pay 20 bucks, but I, I just invested $200,000 in a building that I run as a marina. And that's irrelevant to the situation. I don't know. I've got a lawyer that, that's dealing with figuring this out. But more or less, now what I've got an uh, article wrote in the newspaper. And it all it says they couldn't get a hold of me. And only because they, when they did get a hold of me, I wasn't around. But now I've now contacted them, but they are basically those three of those titles. Or all, the, all the titles have pretty much been sent certified mail. Um, I tried to contact There's one. There's a web reference. They didn't, they didn't get probably where they got their info. Four, three maybe. of the four have been sent certified Before mail they, received. And I, you I deceptively like, took I, down my you website. You guys them to me and they're sitting on my porch sometime in the beginning of October. And so I guess Funny, they gave like me a nice present and then made sure I couldn't even get these titles for these customers all, to ruin my know, reputation with, with all lies. You know, what, my newspaper? Uh, because they're not What's asking that for newspaper? monetary settlement or anything for me. But what they're trying to do in the meantime is put a permanent injunction on me for the life of selling based on this. Yeah, you, gotta, you gotta do it because I'll beat market. you guys in selling. So, Hell, I'll own your auction. I'll beat you at everything because I whatever I do, I'm the best at you know, it. Sorry. And, Can't I stop me. I don't own what you almost did, though. Man. God, good job. Can't wait to see the federal judge's oh, right, right. face when he sees all this corruption. <laughs> Including uh, Officer Lazoff and uh, a uh, judge that was recently uh, abolished or abonished. I'm not exactly sure. I've got so much stuff, but uh, told me I need to drive my car with a uh, title in a glove box. Man, he's a pro on the stand three times. I'm no worry. I'm got a restraining order coming in cops. I'm just waiting for one cop. Which cops going to start messing with me first? I got all kinds of stuff coming. We're smarter than you think, buddy. Do one more thing, guys. Keep doing it. Keep on doing it. How many people want to be criminals? Show us your criminality. Quit calling me a criminal. You guys are the criminals. In fact, look on your guys' own uh, thing right here. It's so FBI. Oh, well, so let's go do this, 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 this. Look at this, guys. Okay, yeah, what's your email address? Yeah, go ahead. Actually, you guys go ahead and have his email address. Screw this guy. Tell him what he is. Tell him what he is. A crook. I don't know if he knows everything or not, or if he's just doing it to keep his job, so I can't blame him personally. I'm not blaming you, but more or less, you have to look at it from my point of view and actually just look at my... Look at that. Scott Hockett. They're crooks. Thank you, guys. Crooks. And now my 10 years are... My 10 years of integrity are pretty much just... uh, They're not washed on the drain. You can't change. Look at all this. Your banks are being the highest buyer. A bunch of Bible-thumping liars like you guys are. Too bad I grew up in a desk... Or I grew up in an ADE, and I know all the story of how everything is formed. My father, Andrew Dada, you know, I know the Goins family. They, they've never done us wrong. Nothing wrong with that auction. Actually, I loved that auction. But, uh... I've been harassed out of my li- out of my mind about all kinds of crap. I don't think anybody, any of my customers, are even asking. We're ever asking for anything with their titles. Right, right. So, right. Yeah, send me what you can. Sounds like you live in third world. These guys are a pro. Taking me out of business, taking me to court for a very long time. Yeah, look. And they steal million dollars. Wow, look at this. This is what they do. Nice task force. Good job for accepting. Uh, oh, you guys better get something done. Look what day they come to town. Or, well, they came. They've been following me because they told me they're, they, they're here for me. So, whatever. I'm not a criminal. I've never done anything wrong. You know what? I'm honest. It's a simple, it's a simple thing to do is be honest. Sorry to cut in all these cons. They just decided to go ahead and bash me without even getting a hold of me, which is fine. And they say, oh, a message was left. It's funny as I have an 800 number and a voice, like a yeah, you guys are so fancy. Who'd you pay to put in the Journal Gazette? Even the Journal Gazette gets paid. Wow. Who knows? I'll defend myself in public, but Facebook can't fly. And maybe a News Channel 15. I know how you guys love the Allen County Sheriff's Department. Maybe if you guys will hurry up and call me back before I just go, before CNN does. or Because this is going big, and I'm going home. I go big or go home every time. People know about me. Go big or go home. I don't come unprepared. I come I come with the I speak softly and I always share a big stick.
I mean, at the end of the day, all I want to do is resolve it. Funny, uh, funny. Get the, yeah. get that Let me just also mention it took five to six months for me to just do an address transfer from one place to another, and, you know, I don't think the guy even knew now that I think about it. Like, whatever, it doesn't matter. Anyways, because I'm allowed to broker votes, and that's mainly my eBay account, what's my uh, livelihood. But now they blocked that, and now I'm sitting here like, uh oh. So I gotta get this fixed now. Um, okay, email address, and I'll get you. I'm just going to ask the secretary, the attorney general, or whatever, whatever they need as proof that I didn't. What basically am not just committing some fraud and stole a bunch of money. Right. Okay. Right. Because everybody will be settled instantly. It's her. So. Right. Yes, this is a manager of Cincinnati Dayton, which is actually. I started the boat game, guys. You guys were selling them, but I'm a beast at it. I want this auction. I want to own this auction and their specialty sports. Because they want to push me around like chumps. Take my dream. Because that's what they said they were going to do. Take my dream. Because I hadn't committed any crimes. Okay. I have a regular one that you guys haven't filed, but that's the dream choice. That's what my company wants. Okay, I'm going to end this because I'm not, I'm not giving them my personal... Uh, or I don't want this stuff to get out because I don't want my personal email. There's nothing I'm hiding. I just don't want... I don't want to, uh, my privatized email even looked at right now because I've got one to go ahead and uh, what they say is um, keep it nice and private until you're ready to just take it all. I'm going for the gold. In fact, screw the gold. Let's see what the, let's see what car holdings, this crooked company, let's, I want to go to their website so let's just see if I can't get to their website real quick guys because I know no one believes me but all the bashing and stuff, I, I've taken a note of a lot of stuff and I'm glad because I get to see the true colors of a company. It's or a lot of people, but it's all right. Yeah, I'm a drug dealer. I'm a this. I'm a that. You guys keep talking. No, you guys are just jealous because I'm smart and I did something legal and I made a, you know a good return of money on it. Whatever, however it all works out. Um, I'm not even going to get into too much. And I'm sure that uh, the Safe Street Task Force they're going to try throw keep throwing any BS crap at me because. If you look at my record prior to this task force being formed, I don't even have nothing. Not even crap except for some speeding tickets, seatbelt tickets. All of a sudden, I'm defaulted uh, you know, into every court case when I'm the guy who always goes to court and beats and I want trial by jury. Come on, bench trial. I'm not a fool. You're not talking to a fool. Bench trials, never take one because bench trials are for idiots. Always jury. Uh, Let's see, car holding services, and we're going to end this with that. This should be enough. It's only 40 minutes. One hell of a long part. But actually, it's okay. I've got names of agents. I've got their ta I've got everybody that's ever came and harassed me. This prosecutor, we won't even get to, but I'll just say I had a GPS tracking device on my car. The federal government in February said that that was an illegal placing, or just on everybody's car because of some other cases they've been placing them. Well, I got an OWI. And they can say whatever. They have no proof of anything except for some BS stuff that they like to have. But uh, there's no reason they really pulled me over. It was a strategic takedown because the same officer, Officer Laz off, is also the same officer who held me up, if any of you or my friends had seen Once Upon a Time. Um, Once Upon a Time, not too long ago, they did something really fancy to me. Uh, pulled me over right at the state line after the state cop followed me. He told me I had to have a t title in the glove box. But they're so tricky. Look what they just did. And they sent me this. Because, you know, I'm not, they know I'm not dumb. I'm not going to trial by jury. Trial by jury. Let's see. What do you guys think about this? Okay, so they said it. I even came with a bunch of people of August 30. Uh, okay, oh, no, there's my jury trial. So what they do is they reset it. This is fancy because this guy also told me that he was going to send me a letter about a boat. It happens to be just Larry Sayer who happens to be. A boat from Indianapolis, Odessa is certified. So basically, they badmouthed me any way they could. And then look at this for a matter bench trial on. What the? What is this? Does this look like a signature right here? I get to court and I say, wait, 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 wait. Where's the jury? And they said, um, we sent you the thing. Can you believe a judge wouldn't even give me time to speak with an attorney after this? Wow. Look at this. All right, now Stu Ben is a fraud. It's fraudulently paid off. In fact, one time I heard it, if you want to get away with murder, the best place to do it is in Stu Ben County. You guys do your own research on that. I'm not going to make it because these guys are literally pros. They pay off everybody. But what I really like to prove is this guy right here. Um, 
Blazov will be unable to testify. I'll be trained that day. Well, he's also arrested me and put me on a $25,000 bond right after this hearing, even though for a warrant filed falsely by my dad. But it's not filed by my dad. My dad called the cops. Uh, you know, he was drunk and I was sober. Got a little argument. And he's like, leave or I'm going to call the cops. Well, he calls the cops. Whatever. I was like, I'll leave. Left soberly. But, oh, gosh, turn into a fancy one. Have you ever heard of anybody who has a, uh, nothing really on their record being held for um, $25,000 surety only, which means you have to pay $2,500 for an A and B misdemeanor? Okay? Well, I'm going to tell you, and just to top it off, it was from Kosciuszko County. So, Sue Ben puts me in this cage, locks me up, and uh, doesn't let me use the phone, gives me no rights, doesn't tell me anything until they've gotten me, because I've never spent a night in jail in my life. I spent a night in jail, but I've never spent a full day and night in jail because I'm not a criminal. I don't do crappy stuff like that, okay? So anything I have is probably just, like, something stupid. But I actually hadn't been to jail since I opened my company in 2000, from two, from high school till then. So it's just all it's all coincidental, and it all, I put the whole case together. No one wants to believe it. That's fine. I got everything on everybody, and Santa Claus does too. So think what you guys would like. Um... This goes all the way back to a case at Woodland Lounge, or not, it's not Woodland. Oh, sorry guys, and I not, do not mean that. Uh, what was that uh, bar? Uh, Duties Uptown. When uh, our nice fancy officer over here, uh, we'll get to that later, but a nice fancy local cop also does some scandalous stuff. And uh, basically picks me up and throws me out of a bar for no reason when I was just talking to my friend. And he went under deposition and... Pretty much nobody showed up to the deposition because a bunch of four wing cops were not going to lie under oath to the deposition. But he did. He <laughs> he did. He was willing to come in and lie because he had to back up what he was saying. Maybe they threw him, you know, a couple thousand bucks to make sure that they that I go to jail that night. And we were out that night. Uh, actually, I was out with a couple girlfriends and whatnot, and it was mainly just to uh, celebrate the fact that we had sold 16 boats in our first week, which is actually really fun. The funniest part. <laughs> Uh, we're not, maybe not, yeah, it was the first week we sold 16, or it was the first week I sold 16 boats. So it was my 16 boats that I had bought in maybe a week before. But I mean, look at these guys, they're crooks. And I gotta sit here and defend myself. Well, I have another case, and, uh, for some reason the Fort Wayne Police Department evidence room still has my gun. And they, that's all they wanted to dismiss the charge. I said, no, I told my lawyer at the time, uh, my lawyer's Mr. Zent at the time, and uh, he's a very good lawyer, very straightforward. Just if you guys ever need a good lawyer, they will at least tell you the truth. I recommend him because he do, he's a straight shooter. You need a straight shooter because you don't want to buy a lazy lawyer because they, they don't do anything right. Um, but anyways, at the time, you know, he said, well, I agree with you. You should go to trial because you can't get a public intoxication, not have your gun on you and, and be getting a driver to drive you home, but have it in your glove box of your vehicle. And they take it from you. Whatever. The case got dismissed because I said I'll go to a jury trial. And the day of jury trial obviously got dismissed. But yet, I've got nothing but a run around. So we'll see if the evidence room will actually say anything about my uh, nice Glock gun that I have that I had a carrying permit for. And yeah, these are all tactical tricks to keep me... They're trying to get my gun away from me over and over and over because they know what they're doing is violating constitutional rights and they're all afraid. He does love the Constitution. He does love the fact that he has a gun to protect himself. You're damn right I do. And uh, Kosciuszko County, prosecutor, whatever, the lady that showed up for her, she's definitely in on it because I asked for a bond reduction and she instantly objected and they wanted to set me out two months. And um, let's see, let's all these notices about my houses. My tenants that were in there were told not to pay rent because he's going to be losing this house anyways. Like, are you fucking kidding me, guys? Let's talk about $56,000 owed and uh, on a house that's worth 170000 And then let's get to Wells Fargo Home Mortgage, who uh, not only do they overprice their insurance, they don't even pay my insurance company forever. I've got an insurance agent that's very sincere over Three Rivers. I'm sure they will tell them. Grain Grange Insurance, it says, oh, Wells Fargo didn't pay your thing, so now your payment goes up. When I was perfectly on time and they had the money in escrow so there's another violation but just to top it off uh well for my birthday when i they put me in a jail and held me on the 12th of knowing that i'm in jail they in my house says no trespassing blah blah, blah on it for rent well my for rent signs keep getting taken down all over the place in fact i videotape people taking them down okay they're designed to uh screw with me so they're they think i'm just a dummy 
The funny thing is, is we know you're dummies, is what I got to say. You'll never outsmart me. My IQ is too high. But the idea is to take my gun and come up with a uh, circumstance right now. And this is why I do want some news center to help me because I don't have a good, well, I have a good, <laughs> have a good defense attorney, but I, I need to get that uh, case dropped immediately because it's a, a BS case. A, my dad wrote in there that he never said any of this stuff. This is an ideal tactical takedown by, uh, basically his car is losing money right now. Car Holdings is losing money. But AFC is their division that's losing the most money. And uh, Automotive Finance and uh, the previous company I was with had some issues. And these issues are and should be addressed, but they don't. They, they pretty much... At the end of the day, I was deemed no fraud intended. Heck, I hadn't even gotten a paycheck. I was trying to save my dream. Because actually, Dream Toy Store was my dream. I went to college for finance, okay? I was going to be a, in an office because I realized I needed to make some real money, not a car dealer because I wasn't trying to be chump change. I, excuse my language. I don't take that. I take that back. That's a very wrong thing to say. I was more or less... I'm educated. I actually love playing with toys. I just didn't think I could actually make a living and be retiring, relaxing, just doing that, but somehow following your dream, following your heart, honesty, integrity, they all do work, okay? People always say, how do you do so good at this? I said, it's the funniest thing ever. It's one of the funniest things ever, and I've got, you know, I've got letters from eBay requesting me to speak at eBay Live. They think I'm some little kid around here in Fort Wayne. You guys don't even know. I've got people, contacts that are so big, they're worldwide, that this is going to get big, okay? I know lots of people, and like I said, one more time, just to reinforce my global sales size side of it, and I don't know if it'll let me just do this real quick. One more time, this is just the sales to people around the globe. You think I don't know people, guys? I know ambassadors. I know all kinds of stuff. I know senators. I know all kinds of stuff. None of them would ever agree to this, but obviously, if you're part of the car holdings, um, Indianapolis ring of we own Indiana people that get away with doing whatever they want including a maximum of um, $50,000 uh, punitive damage, which is a joke right now. And a judge even ruled it unconstitutional. Oh, I'm sorry. This is on my Facebook. Oh, there. That's how much I love boats. I followed my dream. All I loved when I was a little kid was boats. Okay? Not going to really get too far and in deep into this, but we'll go ahead and look. There's just my global sales. So I probably don't have any good connections that are outside of Indiana. I'm sorry. I just don't know one little crooked police state of Indiana. You guys are so crooked that this is going to shake and bake, as they say. But the problem is, is I need to make sure I've got some really good protection and standpoint. And I do pretty much have probably one of the best lawyers. I know Fort Wayne hates him. Well, the, I don't want to say Fort Wayne hates him, but I love the fact that when I've done some reading on him, he's a very good, I, good guy.